This video has been a, a long time coming, so my apologies for taking so long to get to it. But as you know, the aviation industry does not stop. And that means sometimes things I want to cover get pushed back and pushed back. And before you know it, it's been a month. Airbus and larger aircraft, though, have been a topic on the channel and generally throughout the industry. Customers like Emirates are seeing a significant increase in demand and are looking towards ways to combat that. The Dubai-based carrier is after larger aircraft, something like a new Airbus A380, especially as they move to eventually retire the world's largest passenger plane, of which they have 100+. plus. However, building such a plane for each specific aircraft manufacturer seems increasingly unlikely regardless of the interest that may be present from Emirates at this time. Although, how I will always say to you, never say never. The industry is always changing and evolving and we don't know where we may be in 5 to 10 years. So, the big question is, how are they combating the increase in demand and the need for higher capacity jets? Well, according to an interview last month, thanks to the reputable Aero Telegraph, the sales manager at Airbus noted that they were looking at making their A350 cabin wider, explicitly saying that they are in the process of creating an increased volume cabin that will allow them to see a 10 abreast economy configuration comfortably in the A350 towards the back end of the plane. A 10 abreast configuration is always going to be heavily up for debate in terms of comfort for passengers choosing to fly said aircraft, and it's a very important factor I would say when determining just how Airbus proceeds with this. But of course, while airlines look for ways to increase capacity, the idea that this could be potentially done is certainly something of heightened interest. While a handful of airlines already operate a 10 abreast A350, what I should say is they've done this in such a manner that has actually reduced the overall seat in terms of its width, naturally making for whatever way you put it a more cramped cabin as you're losing that width in every single seat. For Airbus, they're opting to move away from how these customers are changing their cabin, specifically saying that they didn't want to compromise the seat width where possible, and therefore impact the customer experience in a negative manner. Of course, a very important factor when making changes to the cabin. At the end of the day, while these aircraft are headed to said airlines, people like us will be flying on board them, and the comfort is of top priority to bring people back. At the same time, what I should say is details are pretty far and few between at this stage when it comes to the exact specifics behind the extension, but we shouldn't be waiting too much longer until we see a further adaptation of the 350 to benefit customers with that additional capacity. Ultimately, what I would say is it's a race to work out a method to provide higher capacity aircraft with what is already existing. As I've stated before, with some customers like Emirates looking at alternatives that do not currently exist. So it's up to the job of your Airbus and Boeings to continue to develop their existing aircraft to benefit said customers. Now it's down to you. If you were running an airline looking for a high capacity alternative, which side would you fall on? Airbus and their A350 or Boeing and their up and coming 7779? Please do let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for the support across the channel recently. Trust me, I've really been noticing it and it's been an absolute pleasure to continue to bring you daily content here on the channel. Stay tuned as later today there'll be an exclusive interview airing as well. A big thanks to Jaden, Daniel Jam, Stefan, Alwaleed Eric, The Flash Cuban, Will Don and Austin 9.